Hey guys, my name is Abhi and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn this. I've actually used this uh, transition in Pattaya vlog. I'll put the link in the description. So at first what we are going to do, we are going to import the video from the media pool like this. And once we do that, we click on the fusion tab. We can see that this media in one is Big Buddha statue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on F2 to rename this node to uh, Big Buddha. All right. After that, we are going to add Delta gear to our media in node. The purpose of Delta gear is um, it actually replaces the green screen with the background with the image or with the video you want and over here we don't really have green screen but we have blue and it's not really consistent but i'm actually gonna show you how we can replace that so we come to this node and we press shift and space bar to add the delta gear now the next step is to replace the blue screen remove the background so what i'm gonna do is you can either click here or you can either click here and select the matching color but what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna click here and i'm going to select the best matching color out of these available colors and uh, yep you can see that the background has been removed and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the second video which is a time lapse of the night sky and I'm going to press F2 to rename it. After that we'll add a merge node on our second node which is night sky like this and then we need to disconnect our first node which is Buddha statue like this and then we have to connect our media out with our merge node and make sure that you connect the merge node with the delta here i noticed that the statue is not really properly fitting to the screen then later i realized that both the videos have different frame sizes the night sky video had 1920 by 1080 and the other video had 3840 by 2160 in order to sort this out, be on the merge node and inspect a tab and reduce the size to 0.5. Now you can see that both the videos are fitting to the screen. After that, we'll go to the edit page and um, we'll play the video. You'll notice that our foreground, which is basically the statue, is kind of transparent. You can see the stars from the foreground, which we really don't want. We'll go back to the Fusion tab and we are going to add the Polygon tool. The Polygon tool will basically help us in masking the certain parts of the video. Let me show you how. Make sure that Delta key is selected and then we click on this particular tool, which is Polygon tool and it will automatically be added to the Delta key. After adding polygon tool, the default background will come up, so we'll click on invert. Now the uh, crucial step is to do the masking of the area of the foreground so that it doesn't clash with the background. And we can see that this particular area is still left. 
So what we are going to do, we are going to add another polygon tool to the delta here and we'll do the masking. Okay, after masking, we'll go to the edit page and now you can see that the foreground is not transparent anymore. You can't see any stars through the foreground. We can still go to the fusion page and do some final touch. I'd recommend that you can play with these options. Just make sure guys that you do the masking properly. You can also play with monotones, highlights and shadows. You can also add dynamic zoom to add a little bit more character. We can um, simply click on inspector tab and click on dynamic zoom. You can also further do color correction, but I already have the LUTs preloaded in my system. I've actually done a little blend between the original sky and the replacement sky. If you want to do that, just click on the fusion tab again. Click on the delta here and go to the last option and we are going to do a little bit of key framing here we go to the first frame and we select the key frame and take the blend to zero let's say we go to frame number 50 and we go to the key frame again and we'll select the blend to one Here's our final outcome and this is how it looks like. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. So if you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because I'm coming up with more tutorials like this. So uh, thank you for watching and see you around.